Welcome to another edition of the JTO Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, the only podcast sponsored by Satan. Today, we are talking about, what are we talking about, Bryant? We're talking about ghosts. Ghosts, that's right. One thing we love to do on the JTO Podcast is drink, yes. because as we know, it numbs the pain. And today, we are drinking Bloody, bloody Sunday Marys. We are drinking yes. Bloody Marys all morning. Okay. I am very tired. I very much need the alcohol. So Bloody Marys, because we're talking about ghosts, uh, one of the first things I thought about was when I was a kid, you would say Bloody Mary three times in the mirror. Three times. And supposedly uh, a ghost would come out of the mirror and kill you. Now, it's not supposedly. Well, except for the murder part. I did this and a ghost did appear. Really? Yeah. I told her she was pretty. She felt awkward. <laughs> I wasn't very good with women. So, so you hit on her. Yeah, she wouldn't come back. <laughs> She would. She left. She dove right back into the fucking mirror. Would not come back. Did you keep doing it and like not take the hint? I tried. Bloody Mary, Bloody Melissa, Bloody Susan. Well, None of them. Nobody showed up. It was a lonely boy. This is an intense story. Um, this one took place on June 10th of 1912 in Villisca, Iowa. The Villisca axe murders. There was eight victims total. His family, Josiah and his wife. Two of the kids weren't there as they were having a sleepover. They went to, I believe, like a church service. They come home, they do the thing, they get in bed, bam, axes to the dome all day. So they were murdered violently in their sleep. The, the Josiah got the worst. He was hit with the ax so many times that his eyes were actually missing. And the other ones were bludgeoned with the blunt end of the ax. See, when I think about ax murder, I would use a fireman's ax. So even if I'm using the other side, you're gonna get in there and you're gonna get them chunks of flesh. Hypothetically, there was one little girl, her name was Lena. I don't know, she was a young girl. There were signs that she was one of the only ones that was awake during the murder and possibly sexually assaulted. Wow. So what was creepy about it was that they found spent cigarettes, like cigarette butts in the attic. So the dude or guys, they were just waiting for the family to go to sleep. Now the guy, I'm gonna say it's one, it, they never caught the person, so we don't know, or people. He left Josiah's ax in the guest room where the sisters, the, uh, the ones that were spending the night, were butchered, and there was a slab of bacon in the room, which is appropriate nice. because we're having bacon with our Bloody Marys. Not planned, by the way. I, honestly, bacon <laughs> is like, delicious. Maybe he broke in and killed those people for the bacon. I, I would. I, I mean, would too. If, but they also found like a meal he cooked in the kitchen and like a bowl full of bloody water. Just weird shit. What makes this even better is the house is still around today and you can spend the night in it for a mere $400. That's it? Just $400? It's actually over $400, wow. but it's in the realm of $400. And a ghost hunter, Robert Stephen Lorison, Jr., age 37, he and his crew wound up there, spent the night in the haunted axe murder palace around midnight because the murders happened between 12 and 5 a.m. This ghost hunter, Mr. Lorison, stabbed himself. He stabbed himself. Now, if that isn't the coolest fucking haunted house, <laughs> Ghost hunters are stabbing themselves. They're charging fucking the ghost rents. It's awesome. 